Hello, in this video let's get acquainted with custom reports. There are two types of reports you can see on this page. Dashboards that are already created and you actually cannot add any new information here. Just download this data. And custom reports where you can add columns you want to see, group data by them, apply filters, conditional formatting, give your report a specific name, copy, share it with your team, and many more. Let me just show some of report samples. It can be this classical timesheet. You can group your data by one column, several columns, or you can have a very simple column and row type with data associated with any row here. To create a report, click on this Create Report button and open its draft. You'll appear on the Layout tab. On the right you can see columns that you can add to your report by clicking on them, dragging and dropping, or using the search here at the top. Then you can always remove unnecessary columns and uh, change the column order in this report. Apply one of layouts, like plane with subgroup, or use timesheet view. What is more, you can show additional information on your columns. If they have this gear icon, it means you can apply some attributes. For example, we show here member name, but if job title is set up, we can add it to the column. On the left, you can find some filters. A separate filter is by period where you can include a certain date range. Then you can go to the main filters tab. You'll see four filters already included and you can filter this report by particular members and maybe by particular projects as well as do the opposite exclude certain projects from appearing on this report then you can always apply some advanced filters for example try to search by task name And then we can even go further and, for example, show only billable and unbillable time. A report can be shared with other team members in this sharing tab. You can also share it with uh, the whole team group. And all people need to do just open their reports page to find this report. By the way, if you include any financial information, like uh, how budget was spent or the billable amount, uh, it will be visible only to team administrators and hidden for regular members. You can also open uh, the formatting section where you can apply um, several conditions to quickly capture the data that uh, needs attention. For example, if time is greater than four hours, this can be easily highlighted. And uh, lastly, here you can 
apply single um, settings in regards to time rounding, time format and date format as well as some other metrics. So it's the same for everybody who uses this report. Then if we talk about integration with uh, other uh, project management tools, we'll sync all your projects and tasks exactly as they appear in your tools. This thing happens periodically and automatically, but let's say if you see something outdated on your report, you can quickly trigger a data resync. Just open a project menu and uh, resync the project, uh, sorry, your report here, and then just uh, refresh the page. Please also bear in mind that we don't show just bare task titles or project titles. If there is no time reported and if a task does not have any time estimate, reports tend to show only actual result. Um, going back to this menu, so you can quickly edit your report, rename it, um, change its icon and color. Uh, then you can always copy this report um, if you'd like to make it a template. Um, send your report by email. Um, it's possible even to choose a particular day and time when this report should be sent. You can just download it or delete if you no longer need it. Later you can add your report to favorites and uh, put it on top of the custom reports list. On the right here you can quickly go and update your filters list. Then you can apply different sorting and change the period without opening uh, the filters tab. Um, you can also see it's possible to change the column width. It's very handy when you have long task titles for example and uh, you'd like to cut a long piece of text here. That's all I wanted to share with you. If you still have questions about this page feel free to contact us at ask at everout.com or click on the green question mark button to read other support materials.